Today, I'm giving Victor Wembanyama Kobe Bryant's career, meaning that he'll be starting it off in 1996 on the Los Angeles Lakers, playing alongside Shaq. Now, in order for this to work, I moved Wemby over to the power forward. That way, both him and Shaq can start. I think that this big man duo has the potential to become the greatest front court of all time. But in order to do that, they're going to need to win some championships. So without any more talking, let's get into season number one, Wemby's rookie year. Season number one is wrapped. Michael Jordan wins the MVP award and Victor Wembanyama takes home rookie of the year. Really good efficiency, almost 50% from the field, about 38% from three, as he averaged 18 points, nine rebounds, and four assists a night. And probably the most impressive part of this stat line was two and a half blocks per game. Also, Wembenyama's teammate Shaq ended up making all NBA first team. And because Shaq was so dominant and Wembenyama was the rookie of the year, we got off to a hot start in this simulation winning 67 games. In round number one, we got the Suns. They have a young Steve Nash, and they've also got Michael Finley and Kevin Johnson, but not a crazy team. And we take care of them in a sweep. Round two, we got the Houston Rockets, with an older Charles Barkley, Hakeem, and Clyde Drexler. This team never really worked out in real life, but in the world of 2K, they could definitely be a threat. And yeah, we're down three to one. We are gonna win game five and game six. Hold on, Wemby. Are we about to pull off a 3-1 comeback in your first season? It looks like it. After the Rockets got off to a great start to the series, they completely folded, and Victor Wembanyama led the way with 23 points in Game 7. In the Conference Finals, we've got the Utah Jazz. They've got the Stockton and Malone pick and roll, but hopefully Wemby and Shaq can lock down that pick and roll. Game 1's gonna go to Utah. We take the next two games. We're also gonna win Game 4. They win Game 5, so we've got a chance to close this out in six and make the NBA Finals. But the Utah Jazz aren't going to make it easy on us. We're headed to a game seven despite 30 points from Eddie Jones, 28 from Shaq, and 25 from Wemby. Carl Malone just had a better game than all those guys. 45 points, 12 rebounds, and 7 assists, and now we are headed to a Game 7. And in Game 7, our guys are going to come through. It's Shaq with 27 points. He had a young Wembenyama's back as he struggled in this game and fouled out. So now we're moving on to the NBA Finals against the Detroit Pistons. With a pre-injury Grant Hill, this team is pretty solid. Game one of the series goes to us, we also take game two and game three, and we end up winning the series in five. Shaq is named Finals MVP, so in just his first season, Victor Wembanyama wins an NBA championship. And I have a feeling there might be more where that came from, from Wembenyama and Shaq. Headed into season number two, we managed to keep the championship core together, and Wembenyama is up to a 93 overall. This season might be even crazier than the last one. Oh my goodness, Victor Wembenyama in just his second season wins the MVP award averaging 25, 11, and four. And with all those steals and blocks, Wemby might've won DPOY too. Oh, okay, Shaq had it on lock. This front court defensively would be absolutely ridiculous. Both Shaq and Wemby made all NBA first team and headed into the playoffs with the one seed in the West, 69 wins. In the first round, we got the Houston Rockets. We take care of them in four. Round two, we got the Sacramento Kings. We beat them in five. And in the conference finals, it's gonna be San Antonio. Game one of the series is gonna go to us. We also take game two and game three, and we're gonna sweep them. So now we're in the NBA finals for the ultimate test. Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls. This is going to be a crazy matchup. Wemby and Shaq versus Mike and Pippen. Game one of the series goes to the Bulls. We're going to take game two. Chicago wins game three and game four, but we take game five. A 3-1 comeback against Michael Jordan would be absolutely legendary. And it looks like the door is open for us to make that happen. In game six, we've got a close one. Less than two minutes to go here, and we are up by one. Man, let me turn off this era filter, bro. Look at how the game looks. 
All right, now we're good to go. The ball is going to go into Nick Van Exel. Van Exel's looking for Wembenyama in the post. He's defended by Pippen. I know Pippen can defend, but I think Wemby's got this one. He shoots it right over him and knocks it down. We've got Wemby in its small forward right now. Oh my goodness, we're going to give Chicago nightmares. Michael Jordan has the ball. He's driving into a crowded paint. He's going to swing it out to Longley. Longley gives it to Pippen. Pippen gets the screen from Dennis Rodman. Rodman rolls. Pippen pops the jump and knocks it down big shot from scotty pippen to keep chicago within a point and now shaq is inbounding he's gonna give it into nick van exel van exel over to jones now it goes to shaq now it's gonna go down to Wembenyama. Wemby defended by rodman puts up the layup right over him just bully ball for Wembenyama. Now Steve Kerr's bringing it up for Chicago. He gets the screen from Dennis Rodman. Kerr gonna find Pippen. Pippen driving to the basket, spins, and Wemby rejects it. Now Eddie Jones has it for the Lakers. He's gonna swing it over to Sabalos. Now it goes to O'Neal. Now it goes to Van Exel. Van Exel's looking for Wemby in the post again. Oh my goodness, it's picked away by Steve Kerr. Kerr gonna go to the basket, take a jumper, and knock it down. Steve Kerr came out of nowhere for that steal. And now we've got a one-point game with about 30 seconds to go. Van Exel finds Wemby on the roll for a dunk. A quick answer for your Los Angeles Lakers. We now have a three-point lead, which of course means we don't want to let up a three-pointer. Michael Jordan has it defended by Jones. It's going to go over to Kerr, over to Longley. Now it goes to Pippen. Pippen finds Jordan on the three-point line. Mike's going to drive to the basket, pull a short jumper, and it rolls off the rim Lakers secure the rebound and we might be in the clear here now Chicago is going to be forced to play the foul game as long as we knock down a free throw we've probably got this one and we're going to force game seven in the middle of the game y'all got to give me update required first one for Van Exel is good second one for Van Exel is also good Chicago is going to give it into Kerr Kerr over to Pippen over to Rodman over to Longley now it goes back to Kerr for a three ball he misses and that is going to do it. We are headed to a game seven. Wembenyama, the league MVP, came through in the clutch. Wemby at 30 and 13. Shaq had 33 and 15. And now I need to get out of here so I can apply this update and that thing can get out the corner of my screen. And also during that game, I noticed they got Shaq wearing number 40. Let's give the Diesel his number 34. And now we can get ready for game seven. We're here in game seven and we've got a close one with a minute 23 to go we're all tied up at 109 apiece nick van exel has the ball for the lakers van exel looking for wemby in the post wemby yama's doubled he doesn't care he still gets the layup to go now mike is looking for an answer for chicago he's in danger of blowing a 3-1 he's gonna float one up and miss rodman grabs the board and goes back up with it to tie this game up now D. Fish is bringing up the ball for the Lakers. Fisher finds Wembenyama in the post. Wemby going to work on Pippen. Going to fake a couple times and slam it. Oh my goodness. Wembenyama does not care who is in the paint. He is dominating down low. Does Chicago have an answer? They get it to Mike for a dunk. And we are all tied up once again. A back and forth effort here in the fourth quarter. Now the ball is going to go to Wemby. Short jumper for Wembenyama is good. Wemby says anything Chicago can do, I can do better. He's going right back at him with bucket after bucket. But Chicago is still within two here. Michael Jordan in the mid-range swings it over to Rodman. Now it goes to Kerr. Kerr back to Mike. Michael Jordan defended closely by Eddie Jones. Jordan doesn't have space. He gives it to Kukoc for three. And he knocks it down. What a game we have going here between these two teams. Everybody is making everything. And now we are down by one in game seven of these finals. Nick Van Exel has the ball. Man, get it to Wembenyama. He goes to Wemby for a mid-range and he misses. We're sending Dennis Rodman to the foul line. He's not a great free throw shooter. All right, Rodman, you better miss these. First one is off. Second one for Dennis Rodman is also off, leaving the door wide open for us. Shaq bringing up the ball. He gives it up to Van Exel. Nick Van Exel with not much time left. Finds Wembenyama for the dunk. Wembenyama gonna slam one home to give us a one-point lead in game seven. 
Less than four seconds to go. Chicago calls timeout. It all comes down to this. Will Michael Jordan have another signature playoff moment? Or will the Chicago Bulls blow a 3-1 to lead? Dennis Rodman is inbounding the ball. I think we all know who this basketball is going to. They give it into Kerr. Now it goes to Pippen. Pippen's floater is good. Only .5 seconds left. Lakers have no timeouts. That was probably the game winner. Van Exel didn't even get the full court shot off. And the Chicago Bulls are NBA champions. It looked like they were about to blow a 3-1 to lead. But Scottie Pippen came through with the biggest shot of his NBA career quite possibly the biggest shot in NBA history and this game is over with Wembenyama with a disappointing defeat at the hands of the Chicago Bulls this could be a career defining moment for Wemby watching Chicago lift up the championship trophy after he did everything he could in the fourth quarter to try and give his team the win what a game this was between Chicago and LA Scottie Pippen came up with the game winner what a floater when Binyama tried 32 and 10 is not gonna be enough and the Chicago Bulls are NBA champions Mike wins finals MVP now I'm sure after this defeat when Binyama is gonna spend the offseason working on his game and it looks like he did exactly that Wemby is up to a 96 headed into year number three hopefully we can bounce back this season and lift up the Larry O'Brien Wembenyama wins his second league MVP in his best season yet. 28 points, 12 rebounds, 4 assists a night, and 3.5 and blocks per game. Ridiculous stuff from Wembenyama. And he was blocking a lot of shots out there, so he also won DPOY. Shaq made all NBA first team alongside Wemby, and we won 61 games, making us the best team in the West. In round number one, we easily take care of the Grizzlies. We do the same to Seattle in round two, and in the conference finals, we got Seattle. We're going to sweep them. So far in these playoffs, we're undefeated. The last team standing between us and a championship is the Pistons. We beat this team before. In Wembenyama's rookie season, we beat them to win the chip. Game one of the series is going to go to us. We also take game two. Yep, it's over. We did not lose a game these entire playoffs, and Shaq wins finals MVP as Wembenyama takes home ring number two. It was a great run for Wembenyama. This game four was kind of bad, but hey, we got the job done and we did not lose a single game. No team in NBA history has gone undefeated throughout an entire playoffs until now. We just made history. And with Wembenyama up to a 97 overall, I think we can definitely go for two in a row. Oh my goodness. Wembenyama averages over 30 points per game this year. Another MVP and another DPOY added to the resume. Now this season, Shaq was on the second team. He had to take a bit of a backseat to Wemby. But obviously that worked out. We won 67 games and ended off the year red hot, winning 21 in a row. Round one, we easily take care of Sacramento. Round two, we beat Dallas in six. And in the conference finals, Denver is giving us trouble. We're down three to one. They've got T-Mac, Tim Hardaway, and Antonio McDyess. We do end up winning game five of the series. Maybe we can make the comeback? No, we're going to lose in six. T-Mac and the Nuggets go on to win the championship, and our streak of rings ends at two in a row. Wembenyama's numbers dropped off a bit in the playoffs, and we ended up losing. But I would say so far, Wembenyama is off to a great start to his career. I mean, he's only played four seasons, and he already has two championships and three MVPs. One of the main things he's missing on his resume at this point is a finals MVP. But it seems like he's on a trajectory where he could become one of the greatest of all time. Let's get into season number five. Another season in the books. It was just another day at the office for Wen Midyama. He won MVP again, and he also won DPOY. Shaq was once again on the second team, and we were the two seed this year, winning 64 games. The Nuggets, who beat us last year and won the chip, 
they were number one. Maybe we could face off against them in the conference finals once again and have a chance to get revenge. Round number one, we got the Clippers. We take care of them in four. Round two, we got the Kings, and we beat them in five. So we are going to get our rematch against Denver, and T-Mac is just getting better and better. We're definitely going to have our hands full in this one. Game one goes to us. We also take game two and game three. Oh, okay. Well, that was easy. We swept them, and now in the finals, we got the Bucks, who have Ray Allen, Glenn Robinson, Penny Hardaway, and Finn Baker. A really well-rounded squad over in Milwaukee. Game one of the series goes to them. We're going to win game two and game three. They take game four, setting up a big game five with the series all tied up. And it looks like game five is going to come down to the wire with a minute 13 to go here. We are down by five. We do have possession of the ball, so there's a chance we can make this one close. We turn it over. Penny Hardaway moving in transition. He got too flashy with it, so he turned it over. Now Shaq's running the break. Shaquille, he's doubled. He's going to swing it out to Wemby for a three, and Wemby Yama misses it. Now the Bucks give it to Robert Pack. Pack's going to dump it down to Penny in the post. Hardaway puts up a tough hook shot and knocks it down. We're down by seven points here. It might be over. Nick Van Exel bringing it up here for the Lakers. Van Exel gives it to Wemby. Wemby fakes, finds Van Exel in the corner for a long two, and he knocks it down. Man, Van Exel needs to step out for the three in that situation. We're down big. We definitely need three pointers. And now we're going to have to play the foul game. This one might be over with. They're going to give it to Penny for some free throws. Unless Hardaway misses one, I'm getting out of here. First one for Hardaway is good. GG's. When Minyama's 30 is not going to be enough and now we'll be facing elimination in game six all right Wemby and Shaq I need y'all to be locked in for this one I don't want our season to end here but it looks like it's going to the Milwaukee Bucks dominate in game six and we lose two years in a row we've lost in the playoffs Uh oh Wemby hopefully we'll get back to winning soon I mean we've still got the core all together so I think we'll have a chance to compete once again Wemby Yama did it again now this year Ben Ben Wallace won DPOI over Wemby, but Wemby was still all defensive first team. This year we won 57 games, making us the two seed in the West. And in round number one, we got Sacramento. We're going to sweep them. Round two, it's going to be San Antonio, and we beat them in seven. That got closer than I expected, but we did dominate in the final game of the series. And now we've got the Denver Nuggets. We keep running into this team. Hopefully we can win again. Game number one goes to them. We take game two. They win game three, and we're going to win game four. We also take game five, and we close it out. So now we're back in the finals, taking on the Milwaukee Bucks. We got to get revenge for what happened last year game one goes to milwaukee they also take game two and game three we finally win in game four we're also going to take game five but we lose in six glenn robinson is named finals mvp and shaq's prime might be coming to an end soon he's already 30 so we need to take advantage of having peak shaq while we can because once he gets older, our championship window might close. Even if Wemby and the Lakers don't win the championship every year, it's clear that Wemby's got that MVP on lock. Six MVPs in seven seasons is ridiculous. He also won another DPOY, and this year we were the one seed as we won 61 games. In round number one, we got the Utah Jazz. We're down 3-0. All right, we're going to win a game, two games, three games. All right, we might just pull off this 3-0 comeback. We're headed to a game seven. I don't know how this team got up 3-0 on us in the first place, but the fact that we've came all the way back is kind of crazy. And I guess we're just going to pull off a casual little 3-0 comeback, 37-15-8 in the final game for Wemby. In round number two, we got the Blazers. We're down two to one early. We're down three to one early. We win game five and we lose in six. We got off to a slow start being down three to zero against Utah. And then Portland took care of us after that incredible 3-0 comeback. The Blazers went on to win the chip. And we're already in the 2003 offseason. Meaning that LeBron, Wade, and Melo, along with Bosh, are all entering the league. So Wemby's going to have some more NBA legends joining the league that he can compete against. As we head into this upcoming season, it's important to note that Shaq is headed into the final year of his deal. We'll have to see if the Lakers resign. Y'all already knew this screen was about to pop up at the end of the season. Shout out to LeBron winning Rookie of the Year. Ben Wallace won DPOY this season, so it seems that Wemby doesn't win that every year, but he's got that MVP on lock for sure. 
We won 68 games this year. Round one, we take care of Braun and the Warriors. Round two, we're up 3-2 on the Grizzlies, and we're headed to a game seven. All right, Memphis, let's see what y'all got. We're facing elimination here. Hopefully, we can win. And it looks like we are going to manage the game seven dub. And now in the conference finals, we got San Antonio. They got a good backcourt with Baron Davis and Gilbert Arenas. They've also got D-Rob. We're up 3-2 to two after five games, and they win game six, meaning that we've got a winner go home game seven coming up and in game seven we came to play once again in round two we had a game seven we won and now in the conference finals we're gonna get another game seven dub Shaq comes up big with 38 points in this one and in the NBA finals we got the Atlanta Hawks led by Kenyon Martin I don't think Kenyon Martin's gonna be able to stop us we win game two and game three and game four and we're gonna finish it off in five Wemby wins finals MVP it's been a minute since he won a championship but that's ring number three and during the season the front office signed Shaq to a new contract so now Shaq's gonna be on the squad for another three seasons Wemby Nyama did it again, another MVP award. Wemby did not win DPOY this year, but we were the one seed once again. 66 wins on the season. Round number one, we got Portland. We take care of them in five. Round two, it's going to be Sacramento. We sweep them. Conference finals, we sweep Denver. That was an easy path to the NBA finals where we'll be taking on the Celtics. Chauncey, Vince, Antoine Walker, Sean Marion. Yeah, this team is tough. Game one of the series goes to us. We also take game two. Okay, never mind. I guess they weren't that good. We're going to beat them in five. Wembenyama, another chip. That's ring number four. And another finals MVP on top of that. In the offseason, Shaq and Nick Van Exel did regress a little bit. Another season in the books. Wemby wins MVP. And again, Ben Wallace wins DPOY. Ben has been incredible defensively in this simulation. We won 60 games, making us the number one seed in the West. Round one, we swept you. Utah round two we got Dallas we're up three to two and we're headed to a game seven Wemby versus Yao Ming in this one I would love to see a hop in game right here a battle between two of the tallest players in NBA history unfortunately though we were just too good a 25 point win Wemby Yama only 18 but his teammates had his back we brought in Isaiah Ryder via a trade and Isaiah he's a professional bucket he's out here averaging over 20 points per game we did trade Nick Van Exel to go get him though and Van Exel has been here for so long so that kind of hurts but now in the conference finals we got the Golden State Warriors of course led by LeBron James they've also got Tony Parker and we got swept by the Warriors remember I told y'all when LeBron Wade Melo and Bosch came into the league that we were gonna have to watch out for them and look at Bron he went out there and cooked us and James and the Warriors go on to win the championship solid playoff run for Wembenyama but an even better playoff run for LeBron James and Shaq continues to regress even more he He's entering the final year of his contract. It'll be interesting to see if we bring him back next summer. Let's get into another season. Uh-oh, LeBron just ended Wemby's MVP streak. Man, he beat him in the playoffs last year and this year said, you know what, Wemby, I'm taking that MVP too. Wemby didn't even make first team this year. He was on the second team. And we only won 53 games, making us the four seed. I feel like that's the lowest seed we've been in this video. Round one, we got Sacramento, we beat them. And in round two, it's gonna be Golden State. Wemby, this is your chance to make a statement. Show LeBron that even though he won that MVP, you're still the best. And Wemby does exactly that, he swept them. And in the conference finals, we got Phoenix. So far, we're undefeated in these playoffs. And right now, we're up 3-1 to one against the Suns. Suns are giving us some trouble, but we end up beating them in six. And in the finals, we got the Nets. Oh, my goodness. Rip Hamilton, Tim Duncan, and Dirk. This is going to be tough. Game one of the series goes to us. We also take game two. They win game three. We win game four. And we take care of them in five. That was a lot easier than I expected. Wemby, finals MVP. And it looks like Shaq did end up getting a contract extension with the squad, which I'm not too excited about. A three-year deal when he's 35 years old and regressing? I mean, Shaq has helped us win so many championships, so I guess the Lakers had to bring him back. But in a couple years, that contract could start looking really ugly. 
Let's get into another season. All right, LeBron, another MVP. Wembenyama does make first team this season. And we won 53 games. Good enough for the four seed once again. I mean, hey, last year we were the four seed and we won the chip. Man, we got to face Golden State again in round two. Oh, wow. We were up three to one. Don't blow this. Good. We're going on to the conference finals. And next up is going to be the Mavs. And the Mavs are going to cook us. We're down three to zero. We get swept. Good playoff run for Wemby. And Shaq's still holding pretty strong. But maybe we just need to get Wembenyama a bit more help. I'm not really sure how we're supposed to get Wemby more help, though, when we're paying Shaq and Wembenyama so much money. So maybe Wembenyama is just going to have to carry a little bit more. Let's get into another year. Another season in the books. LeBron James wins MVP once again. Wemby is first team, so he's still one of the top players in the league for sure. Actually, this year was a pretty high-scoring season compared to what we've seen from him recently. But LeBron is just too dominant, I guess. We won 56 games on the year. Round number one, we got Utah. And we lost lost in six lebron goes on to win the chip and at this point we are already in the 2009 off season remember kobe bryant retired in 2016 so wemby doesn't have a ton of seasons left until he's gonna retire and at this point shaq is down to an 84 we gotta let him go after this contract is up maybe we could pick up somebody big with that money but anyway let's get into another year i think this might be a bit of a down season for us with shaq down to an 84 another season Season in the books, LeBron James MVP. Wemby Yama, ZVOY. Nice to see him on the award screen again, but this year we did not make the playoff. That means for the first time ever in this video, we're going to be in the draft lottery. What are the odds we jump up to number one? Oh, we traded our pick. Never mind. It landed at 14 anyway. Hopefully, this summer, though, we can spend the money that we were spending on Shaq to add another star alongside Wembenyama. Okay, not bad. We went out and picked up Andrea Bargnani. Not exactly a superstar, but he's better than Shaq at this point. I don't know if he's the missing piece to help us contend, but I guess we're about to find out. Steve Nash wins MVP this year. Wembenyama, another DPOY. And unfortunately, despite Wemby making first team and being DPOY, we did not make the NBA playoff. I thought Andrea Bargnani would save the franchise but it doesn't seem like it we have the 14th pick in this draft maybe we get somebody good not bad Bojan Bogdanovic and at this point we've only got five more seasons left the team doesn't look great I'm hoping we just have a couple years where we're so bad because then we could get some really good young players on the team for now though we're kind of just in NBA no man's land where you're not bad enough to get a really good pick but you're also not good enough to contend. The Brody wins MVP. No DPOY this year for Wemby. He did make first team again though. And we missed the playoffs once again. The problem is with Wemby Yama on the roster, we are too good to be super bad, but we also don't have enough good players on this team around Wemby Yama to be a contender, if that makes sense. And we traded our pick again, so we're not gonna be able to add another young player. And I was kind of happy when we got Andrea Bargnani at first, but man, at this point, I'm realizing that was a bad signing. I mean, Bargnani's cool, don't get me wrong, but as our second best player, I just don't think he's gonna cut it. But we'll see, maybe he'll have an incredible season this year and lead us to a championship. I doubt it though. LeBron James did it again. This year, Wemby was on second team. He is 36 at this point, old oh, man. We won 35 games this year, again, missing out on the playoffs. And we did land the 10th pick in the draft. And we actually drafted CJ McCollum, okay. I don't know if he'll be able to progress in time to really help out Wembenyama, because we're only going until 2016, but a good pickup nonetheless. Wemby's starting to regress at 36 years old, and Bargnani still has two years on his contract. Might have been the worst move in franchise history, giving him all that money. Let's get into another year. Another season in the books, Dwight Howard winning an MVP? Wait, we got LaMarcus Aldridge now? I didn't even notice. Hold on, bro. How did I not notice LaMarcus Aldridge joining our team? We signed him in the summer. Wait, we didn't sign him in the summer. We got him on a minimum? And guess what? Guess what? We still didn't make the playoffs. Oh my goodness, bro. 
The front office is selling so bad right now. I guess they weren't selling because they got LaMarcus on a minimum. But how do you get LaMarcus on a minimum and still can't make the playoffs? What's going on, man? And now we are heading into our second to last season. When Minyama is down to a 94 and Bargnani is on the final year of his deal. So maybe next summer we pick up a good player and make one last run at a championship. That's what I'm hoping for. Another season in the books. KD wins MVP. Wembenyama, no All-NBA this year. But we are back in the playoffs. 47 wins. I don't really know how, but we did it. In round number one, we're going to be taking on Denver. And we got swept. Welcome back to the playoffs, Wemby. Yeah, Wemby might be washed at this point, man. The numbers just aren't what they used to be. But if we can pick up somebody crazy in free agency, we might have a chance to make one last run. Oh my gosh, we gave Bargnani an extension. Well, we're probably cooked here, Wemby. So Wemby, you're just gonna have to enjoy this farewell tour season. I don't know how good we're gonna be, but hey, it's been a great career. Season is wrapped, and in Wemby's final year, we actually did end up making it into the NBA playoffs. As the five seed, we won 46 games. Wemby was solid, averaging about 18 a night. Round number one, we got the Dallas Mavericks. We're down three to two, and we're headed to a game seven. Hey, maybe if we make it to round two, we can just keep this run going and win one last chip. It looks like Wemby will get the game seven dub. Shout out to Bogdanovich. Oh my goodness, he's hooping. Round two, we got the Denver Nuggets, Boogie, Blake Griffin, and T-Mac. This is going to be a tough team for us to get past. We're up 2-1. We're tied up at two apiece. They win game five. But we win game six. Do you believe in miracles? We might make it to the conference finals. Oh my goodness, we're going to do it. Wembenyama, one last run for the history books. We just got to beat Dwight. Come on, Wemby. After five games, we're down three to two. We need this game six, and we're going to get it. Another game seven. The third game seven of these playoffs. The past two times we've won. We just need one more dub, and we'll be in the finals. We got to hop in. Last season, a minute 11 to go, and we're down by four here. We have possession of the ball. Get the ball to Wembenyama. Is that Yao Ming on the floor? It's going to go into CJ McCollum. McCollum is defended by Manu Ginobili. He's going to get the screen from Wemby. Now it goes down to Greg Monroe in the post. Monroe over to Matt Barnes. Barnes going to ball fake. Now he's working on Gordon Hayward. Barnes gives it to Duhan from deep. What are you doing? You're selling right now. Gordon Hayward bringing up the ball for the Pels. Hayward going to give it over to Yao Ming, who's defended by Monroe. Ming found, finds Ginobili wide open, and Ginobili misses. All right, this is our chance here. Let's get a bucket. Duhan, do not shoot a dumb three. He gives it to Wemby. Wemby puts up a floater and misses. And now we're sending Dwight to the line. First one for Howard is good. No way Howard's a knockdown foul shooter. Come on, miss one of these for me. All right, he made both. Down by six here. We're going to need a three. Matt Barnes gives it into Wemby. Wemby going to shoot a midi and knock it down. Wemby does not want his season to end. And now we're going to have to foul again. Hey, Ginobili, if you miss this, you're bald. Dang it, man. Second one for Ginobili is also good. Down by six. We call our last time out. Ball's going to go into CJ McCollum. CJ working on Ginobili. Steps back in the mid-range. Misses. Wemby the rebound. Out to Duhan for a three. And he hits it. All right. We might still be in this one. I'm holding out hope. We're sending Ginobili to the line. Hey, Ginobili, if you miss this, you're bald. Dang it, bro. Second one for Ginobili. Man, he's just lights out from the line. We're still down by five. It's going to go into CJ McCollum. McCollum bringing up the ball. He's going to give it over to Duhan. Duhan another three, and he misses. That's going to do it. Wembenyama's NBA career is over. But that was an exciting last run. We were so close to the finals. All in all, Victor Wembenyama ends it off with five championships, nine MVPs, three finals MVPs, 19 all-star appearances, and 14 all-NBA first-team appearances. Also, Wembenyama was third all-time in scoring, 14th all-time in threes made, fourth in free throws made, sixth in rebounds, first in blocks, and even fifth in steals. That's it for the video. Have a great day. Be sure to like and subscribe.